for uh, post video, yeah, we know that this is the uh, integrated services course for the people who got the seat and then they come to their service. So most of them, yeah, actually I got the high uh, thesis in uh, post video is about the hypertension. Hypertension is really famous in our country especially and also in Indonesia, uh, in our city as well. So hypertension is number one. So and another one is about uh, diabetes mellitus. Yes, but another one is about the heart. Uh, uh, fire, heart fire. Okay, that's, uh, I answer your question. Jangan lupa beli semangka. 
Lincoln University College Malaysia tetap sukses dan berjaya. Hati-hati serius. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih. Now we want to invite the next presenter, Rizka. The title of presentation is a combination of jigsaw and student team achievement division method in enhancing adolescents' vagina hygiene behavior. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Dr. Vimala Ramo from the University of Malaya and Dr. Su Sun Wan Meng from Lincoln University. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the opportunity. Please allow me to introduce myself and present our research paper. My name is Minu. I'm from Surabaya, Indonesia, from Universitas Erlangga. Our paper is a combination of jigsaw and student team achievement division in enhancing adolescent vaginal, vaginal hygiene behavior. There are some uh, backgrounds why we conducted this study. We found in uh, Surabaya, especially, there are still uh, poor genital hygiene practices uh, among boarding school students because they don't live with their parents, they live uh, by themselves in the boarding school. And other studies from CDC uh, found that 75% of women have experienced full full vaginal candidiasis and other infections. And other studies also support the find, uh, this uh, background of this study where more than 13% of adolescent girls in Surabaya experience pathological vaginal discharge. Uh, this due to poor hygiene, in, especially in the private area. And among of them, 48% uh, especially in uh, two Islamic boarding schools studied by the same uh, authors, found that uh, pathological vaginal discharge were due to several causes, uh, like unfrequent uh, changes of underwear and poor other behavior related to private area hygiene. Actually, in the boarding school, there, uh, the doctor and nurses have conducted the health education. However, this was not effective. Our study also find previously in uh, the review, lead review we conducted before the study that jigsaw and student team uh, achievement division have properties in increasing uh, the knowledge uh, and also the skills of the students. So uh, the aim of this study was to explain the effect of a combination of the jigsaw method and student team achievement division in enhancing the uh, knowledge, attitude, and also the action or the behavior of the students who live in the boarding school related to uh, vaginal hygiene behavior. We used a quasi-experiment. Uh, the population was the 10th grade female students uh, of the senior high school Islamic boarding school with a total of 153 students. We, uh, we, the sample size was 32 
and it was recruited by cluster sampling based on the room number they live because we want to ensure that the control group and the treatment group is not uh, uh, not uh, discussing each other. And this was the these were the inclusion and exclusion criteria. And the method this is these are the methods. We use uh, some instruments, and all the instrument has been uh, tested for the validity and reliability with runback alpha of more than 0.9, and it was all valid with 15 questions for knowledge and 20 questions for attitude, and also 15 uh, checklists of action. The checklist uh, was chosen because it was unethical to observe the behavior of the students in conducting the hygiene of private area. And it has been approved by the ethical committee. And this was the intervention. There were three steps. And the first one is discussing the process, the procedures, and also the pre-test. And uh, some facilitators conducted discussion, question and answer. And in the second meeting, the participants were divided into four groups. Each group consists of eight students. And then they were given a different topic related to vaginal hygiene. And then they were encouraged to conduct self-group study. After that, the facilitator chose four members from each group to become a member of expert group. And then the expert group will go from one uh, group to another to explain what they have learned to other students. And then uh, afterward, they have to produce mind maps. And then uh, after the discussion finished, the facilitators will review the mind map and also explain the vaginal hygiene, uh, how to conduct proper vaginal hygiene using hygiene. And the third... Uh, please speak up. Uh, the time is up. Yeah, Maybe you can uh, jump to the conclusion. Yes, thank you. And these were the findings. The conclusion is... Sorry. We conclude that a combination of jigsaw and start improves student vaginal hygiene behavior because it was enhanced motivation and learning process in for written verbal and skills. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First of all, I'd like to say well, thank you for the chance to have us give to me, especially for the honor of the Dr. Vimala and Dr. So Kwan. The title of my presentation is Preventing Sexual Violence on Women via Nursing Intervention, a Scoping Review. The background of my Richard is the cause of sexual violence is the lack of public understanding 
and awareness of incident of sexual violence. This case is grounded with the data from UNICEF that six to ten children in the world have become a victim of violence in 190 countries. But other data prove that almost five percent of children in the UK experience experience sexual harassment. Nineteen percent caused by self delinquent Meanwhile, in the United States, in 2019-16, it estimated that 500,000 women experienced sexual violence before the age of 18. The method um, used in this study are scooping review, in which the database resources from China PubMed and Scopus. The keyword used are nursing care or nursing intervention and sexual violence or sexual abuse and weapon or preventing and women. We use the inclusion criteria in this study uh, consists of women, English, full tech intervention where carried out by nurse to prevent sexual violence use a randomized control trial design or was experiment and the time setting was last 10 years the prisma flow diagram we record that um, remove your screening to pick the code 60 and the result record screen 409 and excluded article after inclusion criteria, the result 373, and in the last included article in which we would like to be analyzed in a 12 article. The result, the result of this screen review saw that the nursing intervention can prevent sexual violence and increase awareness of sexual violence. There are four nursing intervention methods that can perform such as social support intervention, parental push intervention, especially for pattern of parenting, cognitive behavioral therapy, and skill improvement intervention. Activities come out from nursing intervention are general education, discussion, and counseling. The conclusion is, scooping this review saw that nursing intervention can be carried out to prevent sexual violence in women. Methods that can be used to provide nursing intervention are social support intervention, parental focus intervention, especially pattern of parenting, cognitive behavior therapy, and skill improvement intervention. The activities focus on increasing knowledge and awareness of sexual violence. Nursing carry out the role as educator and advocate for the community to prevent sexual violence. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ilyas, for the, uh, for the presentation. Okay, quite interesting topic, preventing sexual violence on women. Okay. So any question from the floor? Yes, please welcome. Yeah. Okay, I just I'm Sydney from UK. Okay, I just want to ask your uh, study is about the scoping review among the women, but your introduction is the children's. What your uh, what your operational definition in your studies? What is woman inside your I mean your definition? Because your introduction is more to the children and it gets is below 18 years. Is it below 18 years is a woman? That's my question. Thank you. Thank you. I directly answer. Thank you very much for your valuable question. As you know, that according to the philosophy of 
a developmental stage from uh, infant to the preschool, school, teenager, and uh, adolescent until what else? There are no spirit uh, very good according to uh, the perspective of human development, especially from nursing perspective. But in this case, all teenagers is women, but no, no, at all women is teenager. This focus because uh, we would like to focus with the background of delinquent. Delinquents become a background of uh, sexual risk behavior because for, for adult women, the, termolo the terminology is not delinquent. Maybe it become uh, our our what? your advice is very good for uh, to 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 revision of my background. Thank you very much. I think it is uh, your advice or your, your suggestion for me to improve my background in this lesson. Thank you very much. Does that answer your question? Yes, because I highlight this one because uh, you are doing the scoping review. So that all the literatures or all the articles regarding the children you can, uh, I mean, uh, in, in, include together with your review. So they might have a big difference when you get the finding. All right? Okay, thank you very much. Maybe the operational deficit definition in the complete article we would like to add that this decision is focused to children or teenagers, not at all of women. But the impact of sexual violence will impact to all period of life span history. Jadi pengaruhnya tetap meskipun terjadinya di masa anak remaja, tapi dampaknya the life span history sepanjang tentang kita. Thank you very much. Your suggestion is very important. I do agree with the question because the samples, uh, samples, your study sample is not clearly presented. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if you don't present the study sample clear, clearly, so we do not, we do not know how the nursing intervention should really help in preventing the sexual violence. Okay, if it, if it's a school, uh, school children, maybe you can say the school education, school nursing education have them in preventing sexual violence but if it's like general we do not know where the nursing intervention takes place okay. to the general populations yeah okay thank you okay. one more question just now yes